What is up, Jankheads? Welcome back to Birthdays, the beginning. This is episode three. We are just gonna jump right back into where we left off last time. Last time we evolved some wonderful land creatures. Uh, we got our first insect, I believe, over here, Pleophacops. There he is, my little man. We also got our first land amphibians and reptiles. I think there was one out on the island as well. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, so today, our first order of business. Let's just let it go for a second. Uh, I have a plan today that I think I generally want to go for. However, before we get into the main plan of what we want to evolve, I would like to... Oh, Mega Canthodes. That's new. A new fish of some kind. I would specifically like to get some insects going. Uh, a new kind of plant as well. Okay, we are getting some new things. It seems like we aren't stagnating at the exact moment. Um, okay. There we go. Maybe now we're kind of settling out. So, okay. Yeah, let's get that high. Let's pause that and then let's go to the library. And I want to see... Specifically right here for this tree, we have Pleophacops already. In order to get any more spider types, we're going to need it to be really hot, which we will do later this episode, I believe. However, I want to get Meganeura first because, ooh, these guys actually need it pretty darn cold. Um, wow, yeah, they need it quite cold. Well, I think we'll we'll try to decrease our land temperature here a bit at first, see if we can get some Meganeura, where Pleophacops have been breeding. Okay. Emerges, more, emerges when more rivers appear at mid-elevation. Okay. So we're going to need a little colder. And then a bit more. We are already, we have a quite high... Uh, humidity is not the word, just moisture is, I think, the better word, because it's kind of just, uh, ground moisture. But we need some more rivers, specifically mid-elevation rivers. I want to keep this area pretty dry over on this side of the mountain, but I think I am going to, up here, throw in another river to hopefully influence the Meganeura to come around. So let's do this and just get this... We could also throw it back here, I suppose. Um, kind of on the other side of the ridge. Um, now I think let's put it let's put it right here. I like that a bit more. So let's throw in a little river, and then let's bring it down this way. That is not quite right. Oh, there we go. Fix that. We're just gonna bring this right down. Hopefully, this will also increase our temperature a little bit. And then it'll just overall be enough to get Meganeura. Well, that's gonna that would increase our temperature, right? So we need to go increase our overall elevation. Um, I don't want to mess with the deep sea too much, so I think we might try to elevate uh, the land a bit more. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna grab you, my. friend. Friend, and we're gonna go raise this up, and then this up, and then this up. We're gonna do this a couple times. Uh, so this, this, this. Nice. Okay, I can do it a little faster if I'm quick with it. There you go. Okay, so that's gonna decrease our temperature a little bit. I'm also going to increase it over here. I kind of wanted this to be our lowland, but it does seem like we need just an overall altitude increase. Uh, we shouldn't need too much. I'm not going to try to go crazy or anything, but I do want it to get fairly chilly for a little while. Um, I do kind of want to make this a little bit nicer and more just cohesive looking, so I'm just going to raise this up a little bit. There we go. That's a bit nicer. Right, let me actually also do this. It can be tough to raise elevation. I think after this episode, we are going to move to the next larger size of cube so that we can really get some more options and everything when uh, when doing all this. 
That will be most excellent. Um, okay, okay, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this. I did end up having a little trouble recording the last episode of this series. Um, I ended up just reloading, and I didn't get much done, and I just, like I said, I reloaded our save, so we're still right where we left off in the last episode. But this game is a little finicky sometimes when recording, which I kind of did expect, to be honest. So, you know, I'm not like... You know, I'm not complaining too much. I did kind of see it coming with this game. It's a little bit of a, a funky game in a lot of a lot of ways. I think having all this water down here will be for the best. And we'll try to keep this as somewhat of a lowland area, but I do think we're going to increase the altitude up here a good bit. Um, grab this. We're just going to basically try to max out the altitude of some of this area we'll go to 25 degrees okay i think that looks good let's regenerate and then we'll see what happens we might lose some things here getting as cold as we're going to but i think it'll be overall okay because we need a little colder okay we lost a plant we lost a straspis that's okay we were expecting to lose a couple things i really want the meganura we may have to use a tool that is at our disposal here um, in order to get this coming around. We do have an extra item that we could use in order to kind of influence it to give us um, something that it's not quite giving us if we need to. It doesn't seem like it's going to, to be honest. And I'm not sure why. I'm really not. We have a lot of a lot of rivers, a lot of midland rivers. The temperature's right. We have high humidity. Um, yeah, you know, I'm not sure. Okay, we're gonna do, like I said, we're gonna do a little bit of influencing here. We're gonna be God for a sec. Um, I was, I am hoping specifically to get the bugs going so that we can heat it up and then have them start to evolve alongside the other things I would like to evolve in this episode, which I'm sure you know from the title. At least if, if I assume the title I'm going to go with. Uh, okay, so we need these bad boys. I'm going to get you, I think, in place of these. We're going to give you there. And the evolution seed is the one that's much more useful, but we can also use the mutation seed if that is ends up being the one that we want more. So where's our Pleophac Ops? We have a Trimetrodon over here. Here's a Pleophac Ops. Okay, I'm gonna use an Evolution Seed on him. And we're gonna see what that gives us. I'm gonna go slow. Okay, we did get Meganeera, so there you go. We also got Argeo, which I think will die, but Meganeera should be able to survive. I can see one already right over here. Uh, the temperature should be good for him, I guess. These are land temperature? Yeah, it should be. You never know. Sometimes you can, if you somewhat for, it kind of influences slash forces things to evolve. And sometimes they'll die immediately afterwards anyway. We're going to give them some time. Okay, Argyope did die. I expected that. But Meganeura should do well. Yes, okay. It does seem to be doing well. Great. So we'll see if we can kind of get them to evolve into some more uh, bugs and arthropods and such. I'm going to give him a little bit of time to propagate, but then we should check what... Oh, Ichthyomimus. Okay, that is an offshoot of Ichthyostega. Primal Butterfly. Great. Okay, good. We're getting all kinds of bugs now. This is exactly what I wanted. These all should be able to continue to evolve as we heat everything up. Awesome. We're getting all kinds of bugs. In a second here, we'll check the library and see all the ones we got. Oh, Velocura, that one didn't seem to last. That's okay, though. Not all of them will. Primal Butterfly is doing really well. Meganeura is also doing well. Oh, Maranura. I think that's a new one. Oh, Sphenicodon. Interesting. What is... Okay, let's actually... Um, let's check our game info. I'm interested in what Sphenicodon is. That sounds familiar. But, okay, so let's see. We got Meganeura. This was Argyope, so we knew they were going to die because they needed a way hotter. Uh, Velocura, they couldn't last, which is interesting. I'm not sure why. Primal Butterfly, though, doing great. 
Uh, Proto Butterfly, don't have them. Don't have you. Don't have you. Don't have you. Wait, what else have we evolved? Okay, Marinera. They're doing well. Okay, so we only have three? It really seemed like we had more. But, okay, so we haven't gotten any new butterflies yet. Oh, they need really cold shallows. That is pretty crazy. These guys needed a lot warmer, though. These guys needed a bit colder. Proto butterflies we should also be able to evolve, but... Okay, so, yeah, making it warmer is fine. That is what we're going to do. And we did get... Oh, we also got Aranura, a bit of them. Um, they are probably going to die, though, as we get it warmer. But we might get Libellium. Descendant of Meganeura feeds on ancient butterflies. Okay, cool. So that should all be good then. We have this started. But where is Sphenacodon is what I'm interested in. We don't have Paramestrian yet. Sphenacodon. Sphenico we do have Ichthyomimus now, which is kind of just a darker version of Ichthyostega that I believe likes it a bit colder. Yeah. So where is Sphenacodon? Um... Oh, Sphenicodon. Oh, interesting. Lives in wetlands. It mainly consists of Meganeura, preferring freshwater. Canada merge into wetlands and sea. Okay, it's cool. We got another uh, frilled back. But in order to get you, we're going to need a lot hotter. You, we're going to need a lot hotter. You, we're going to need a lot hotter. This one is huge. We really need this one. Um, okay. I believe we also need Paramestra Titan in order to get... Uh, Diphodon, so we'll also do that. And then also to get warmer, we can also get Eoraptor eventually, which is another big... That's the main goal of this episode, at least. But, okay, I think we're looking good then as far as cooling off the world. So we're going to go ahead and start getting this world heated up. Um, actually, have I given it quite enough time? I'm not actually totally sure. Let me go back up. Let's give it just a little bit more time to evolve here. Make sure everything can kind of even out. We're getting a tree that is having that is struggling a bit. Also, do we still have a stone down here somewhere? Is there still... Okay, there is still a cold stone down here. So this area is quite cold. It doesn't seem like anything's really using the cold area. Um, Codium Fragile is... But we are going to want to heat this world up quite a lot. So I think I'm actually going to, before we do that... Oh, boy. I keep pressing I to try to open my inventory, and I just do that. I just go up there. Okay, here we go. Um, I want to use... Let's see. Where's our rocks? I want Stone Cold Steve Austin. There we go. So we're going to use an ice stone here, which is going to put the temperature down by 20 degrees... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. That's okay. Uh, let me go and gather all of our stuff. You guys can get a little overview of everything. I don't know where Sphenicodon is. There's uh, Ichthyomimus, though. They are right in the same area as them. Oh, there's Sphenicodon. He's up on our little wetland mountain. Very cool. You can see all of our beautiful bugs flying around. They really liven up the place, make it a lot more lively for sure. Okay. So let's... Give this a bit more time. See what happens here. Oh! Okay. We got a couple new things. Something died. I'm not sure what that was. Cleo Fat Cops. I think we got a couple new... Dido Montria. What is that? Okay, hold on. We need to do another look in the library. What did we just get? Um, was it a spider? No, the next spider we need has to be warm, right? Yeah, so we shouldn't have gotten any of these. Did we get a new one of these, perhaps? Primal Butterfly? No. We still have these ones. Oh, Velikira is doing well now. That's good to see. Um, don't have them. Who is it? Facops? Oh, Dido Mopitonia. Okay, so they're kind of just a cooler water one, which is interesting. We don't have any others in here. We do have Facoptitan. Okay. Oh, they like it really cold, so they must have spawned where that cold stone was. Well, they're going to die. Um, but cool to see them anyway. Uh, Dinorthus. We don't have any Dinorthus yet. They need a lot warmer. We do have Aborealis, though, so that's good. Uh, don't have you guys yet. 
Do we have any Ophiroids? No. Do we have any Sea Stars? We still have them. The Wolfuroids. Okay. I think that's all the new stuff we got. It seemed like there was something else that was new. But I'm not sure what that would be. I think everything else we're going to need pretty much needs it to get warmer. So, okay. Let's close out. Let's give them a bit more time. I wasn't expecting quite all that newness to happen, but... Oh, we're getting a little snow down there where I put the cold stone. That's funny. Okay. I was also thinking about drying that area out a bit, like getting rid of some of that lake. So I might actually do that. I'll tell you what, before we do get it hotter, I am actually going to... Um, I'm going to, let's see, what's the easiest way to do this? I'm just going to raise this up, put it back down. Oh, that re got all of that. Um, okay, I want this to be up a little bit. And then, let's see, put you up, put you up, put you up. And then we're going to put this going down this way. Ichthyostega is doing great. How many of them do we have? Okay, okay. Population of America, roughly. Um, oh, right, in order to make this accurately go to the sea as a river, we need to raise this up and then do this. That way it is fresh water. And then, yeah, this whole area, I would like to get drying out, but I am also going to lower it back down. Oh, wait, let me actually get that right. Let's do it here, here. And then we'll do this. And this is all ocean water? Yes. Okay, so we're going to just go over here. We're going to raise this up. We're going to raise this up. This up. And then this up. This up. And then, tell you what, we could also... Um, let me get in here. Lose one of our other special items. Our field source. And I'm just going to... Boop. Oh, hold on. Let me expand this out. I didn't realize that it actually needed that. But we're going to do boop. Um, and boop. Just to kind of flatten that all out. Okay. Um, now I can just... Let's see. Let's do this. Nope. Let's do this. Get that down. And now we're going to need to get everything moving warmer so the first thing we're gonna do is we are shrinking these mountains goodbye goodbye mountains say there was an earthquake or something and our mountains just super shrank way down because that is totally how earthquakes work okay we're gonna do this get rid of this little guy i'll leave a bit of alpine up there but i'm also going to shrink this down and then we're going to shrink this down. Cool binds. Cool binds. We have a bit of a pit that just that is formed. Um, I suppose I will try to raise this up just to make that a little bit less egregious of a pit. Oh, there you go. You can kind of like, you can game it a little bit. And then let's do you. Just raise that up just to flatten it all out a little bit. And I want the... Don't want the pits being too egregious. Um, okay, there we go. So the mountain area has been shrunk. We're up to 30 degrees. I guess we could make this transition slow. So let's just start with 30 degrees and see where that takes us. I guess we don't want to do it too fast. We don't want a huge, huge mass extinction. Although either way, we are going to get a lot of things going extinct going from this big of a temperature change. We're going to see what happens. We're just going to 30. Okay, got a new plant. New sea plant of some sort. Bellflower. Oh, that's interesting. That's recognizable. Okay, doing good. Proto butterfly. Great, we were hoping to get them. Calamites. New tree. Okay, things are still doing well. Marsh butterfly. Cool, cool. Uh, another plant. Oh, we've gotten some broadleaf trees, it looks like. That's that's exciting. Okay. Looks like stuff's doing well. I think we've kind of... I think we've hit our equilibrium point, so things should be pretty much normal. Let's go give it another check. Over here, this area is 
drying out. It is still quite cold over here. Um, which I think is, yeah, giving these little guys life. So I'm sure they're, they're thankful. But, okay, we still have our little island boy. Oh, I love this little guy. The king of the island. Dicerato Collis. The king of the Jankum Island. Um, our deep sea. Yep, still got where the coelacanth. Yep, cool, cool, cool. Um, so some thing, uh, Pleophacops up here in the north. They're looking good. It is interesting that the river isn't turning this back to high moisture. That's a little weird. But whatever. Um, all of our reptiles seem to be living wonderfully in harmony down in this little area. Plenty of bugs still. We're getting just more and more insects, which is wonderful to see. And then, okay, great. We're looking good. Oh, you know what? I should go back down because it is time to lower this world even further, which our next... The next thing we're going to lower is going to be the deep sea. Um, I'm going to just go right here and then boop, boop. We're going to shrink this way down. And then we're going to shrink some of this down. Make that some lower sea. Uh, Mr. Island Boy, I'm going to shrink the island down. I don't actually want the landmass to shrink, but I do want just the uh, the little peak here to. I want the verticality to shrink, so to say. Uh, let's get out a bit of a bigger one. Get it right in the middle to kind of just shrink. Get the whole island a bit closer to the sea. Looking great. We have some purple plants out here. I like the look of these little things. Calinopterus. Great. I love having unique life out on the island. That always gets my, my biology heart jittering. But now, okay, we're going to do some random, a bit more of random sinkage. We're not going to care too much about symmetricality and all that in the sea. I'm going to shrink all this down. We're already up to 42 degrees, actually, so I think we're good enough for now. Let's see how this all works. We have some super deep sea now, so we'll see what happens to this ocean. We could have some crazy shit. Okay, Stegophyton, they tried. We have a couple new plants kind of trying to evolve. And one was successful, one wasn't. Oh, our island boy died. It must have gotten too hot for him, I guess. Oh! Oh, okay, we're losing some things. We knew this would happen with our... With our temperature change it's okay we, we're gonna have to get it hot oh eo raptor okay great we got an eo raptor wonderful that is exactly what i wanted i didn't expect to get him this early or with this cold of an environment still to be honest but where is this little guy let's see if we can find him our first ever dinosaur everybody rejoice for we have the eo raptor um there he is Hey, buddy, our first ever dinosaur. What a cutie. What a cutie indeed. Hopefully they will prosper greatly. But we're going to have to see. We're going to have to see what happens. Okay, some new plants. Some things are going extinct. We expected that. Argeo, that's new. Ooh, we have a lot of things on the edge. Spenacodon is dead. Megacanthos, that's okay. Velociraptor, okay, that's good. Ooh, Diphodon. Okay, Diphodon is great. Okay, great. Let's give another check through. We are getting a pretty hefty amount of extinctions, to be fair. Um, things are... Ooh, the ocean is a bit bare right now. We're going to need things to kind of resettle once we're in the hotter environment. That's just kind of how it goes. But we did get some more new and exciting things. Um, Ichthyomimus still doing good. There's our eel raptor. What about... We do still have the cold area, which is at 22 degrees now. So things should be able to also exist over here that need it. Uh, let's see. Who's this? Argiope. What is an Argiope? Is this a... Oh, we got this, the hot spider. Okay, cool. Well, we're getting new spiders. Seems like most of our insects are still doing well, which is definitely good. But we need them for all kinds of other things to evolve, I believe. Now, we need to find Velociraptor and Diphodon, which Diphodon, I'm sure, will be hard to find because this is a tiny green lizard in a big green world. 
Um, is it... I'm trying to look for the red dots on the map, but it seems like most of the ones I'm seeing are the bugs. Oh! Okay, we have Paramestra Titan as well, or Triton. This little green lizard. This is not the green lizard that I was talking about. We need a light green lizard, is the Diphodon. And where is... Oh! There's our Velociraptor. All right, our second dinosaur, Velociraptor, right down there. Beautiful. I don't know where Diphodon is, but we're just going to have to kind of hope that he survives. He's around here somewhere. If he gets really populous, then I'm sure we'll see him eventually. Let's just hope he survives. Diceraticalus. Wasn't that our island boy? Did he re-evolve? Okay, a lot of things are still on the edge. Arathia's back? Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Codium Fragil. Okay, some new trees. Oh! I believe we just got our first ever mammal, which evolved from the Diphodon. So that's why I was so happy to have him. Oh yeah, our island boys. Oh, they're okay. They're out on the cold area. Great. Well, it's good to see you guys back in action, even if you're not out on our island. Um... Nothing's really out here these days. But, okay, let's see if we can find our first mammal. Because, I mean, that's huge. Getting a first ever mammal, that is a big deal. Where is he? Where is he? Is he... There's not much in the mountains these days. Oh, there he is! A little mousy! Hey, buddy! Hold on, let me look at you. Let me look at you. Adelo Basilius. Our first mammal. He is adorable and a big step for our world. Um, he will hopefully survive. We are going to push it a bit hotter than it is now. Oh, we also got, uh, what is this, Parasuchus? Great. Our first ever crocodilian as well. That is awesome to see. Uh, I still haven't seen a Diphodon anywhere, but I know they're around here somewhere. There's the Paramestra Titan. Triton, Triton. Um, I still don't see any Diphodon. Uh, I, we know they're here somewhere, so that's what matters. But okay, let's give these guys some more time. Oh, Parchiraptor? Interesting. That must be a new dinosaur. Whereabouts is he? Is he a desert dweller? Just because his, his name has parched in it, I thought he'd be a desert dweller. I suppose it might be dumb. Uh, there's a lot of stuff up here on this green mountain that we have. Getting more stuff over here on this side of the world as well. Parchiraptor, where are you? Uh, I'm sure you guys can spot some of the things that I can. I'm just not, you know, not always looking in the right place and everything. So if you see them, then, well, I don't care, but uh, good for you. Oh, there's a uh, Diphodon. There we go. There's a little tiny green lizard right there that is the precursor to all mammals and a lot of reptiles, too. But let's see. Parchiraptor, where are you? Oh, he's right here. Parchiraptor. Hey, buddy. There's another new dinosaur. We're getting a bunch of small ones for now, but that's to be expected. I think we need to get a bit hotter if we're going to get the bigger dinosaurs, if I remember correctly. You Dimorphodon? Wait, that's a flyer, isn't it? And Dinosuchus. Oh, wait, that's a new uh, crocodilian. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we got a big old crocodilian now. This is a hefty feller. Dinosuchus. Yeah, you are. He's got to be the biggest thing we've ever evolved, right? Damn. And then we also got... Oh, great. Our first flying reptiles. We did... Our first flyers ever were certainly the insects. But our first flying reptile, Eudemorphodon. Wonderful. Hopefully he can evolve can do some more flying things for us. Let's see what else we can get. Okay. Codium Fragil. Okay, they died. Delta Theridium. Oh, and Platopicarpus. Oh, we're getting all kinds of stuff. Okay, we got two new mammals, and I think we got two... Did we get a, a marine reptile? I think we did. Um, I'm not seeing it, but I think Platycarpus is a marine, a marine reptile, and I think I, that's what I saw. Um, yeah, there he is. Platycarpus, awesome. Our first ever, or, uh, Playa Platycarpus, but our first ever marine reptile. Very cool. This guy could evolve into Mosasaurus, I believe. 
Oh, chomp the fish. Chomp. Nice. Very epic. Um, and we also got, okay, yeah, another new flyer. This guy. I didn't see what his name was. R. Muensteri. Cool. Great name there, pal. Your parents must have loved you. Well, great. We're still doing good. Uh, got all kinds of reptiles evolving. And we did get some new mammals as well. Uh, they're a little hard to see, I'm sure, because they're probably going to be really small. I think this is still... Yeah, that's Adelo Basilius. Um, where's another... Another mammal. Oh, there's more Adelo Basilius down here. We have quite a lot of them. Oh, there's one. Uh, Delta Theridium. Awesome, awesome. And I think we got one more mammal somewhere as well. I'm not seeing exactly where he is, but okay, I think, I guess we could get, we're still getting a lot of new stuff, so I'm going to give it some more time, but I do think I want to keep making it hotter. Broadleaf tree, okay, cool, we're getting some new tree types. Pteranodon, oh, broadleaf tree died, but Pteranodon, that's great, a lot of people know them, you can see the flyer down there. Astraspis is back. Great. Another new flower. Oh! Hold on. Hold the fucking phone. We got a Mosasaurus, which is awesome, but I think... Did I just see a, a primate evolve? I think I did. Hold on. Let's check out for Mosasaurus first. Should be probably the new biggest thing we've ever evolved. Yeah, there he is. Mosasaurus, everybody. Big marine reptile. Very cool. Very cool. But I believe we just got a primate. Which is pretty sick. Um, I was not expecting to get one of them so early. But let's give a little look-see as to where our primate friend is. See if we can find him. Oh, he's down in the cold area. Oh, I see. That makes sense. Well, yeah, he's a little monkey. There you go, everybody. We got primates. Well, okay, let's take a look at our library. Guys, as cool as a primate is, it's not our biggest goal for today. We did get a couple a uh, couple of these, including Mosasaurus and Platycarpus, which is awesome. Um, but in order to get, let's see, in order to get snakes, we need a five degrees hotter or so. Uh, oh, these are oh, these are the other separate type of lizards. Yeah, uh, Sphenodon. These guys actually actually should be able to evolve. Cool temperatures that Diphodon could not. Okay, interesting. Well, we have yeah, we have a Bellus. So we have this guy. We have this guy. Um, in order to get more mammals, we're gonna have to get a whole lot colder. But we do have that cold region still, so they could theoretically continue to evolve there but i want this episode to go this way yeah okay looks like we need it uh, just a couple degrees hotter we do also have eudemorphodon it would be great to get you archaeopteryx okay a couple degrees higher for you as well for you for you you're technically oh you need a couple degrees higher as well but okay Maybe we'll just go, like, we're at 42. Oh, man, we're already at 42. We should be able to get more things to evolve. We'll go just a little deeper. Um, and then see if we can just get, like, one more degree down, something like that. Um, I'm just going to shrink down this area a bit. Okay, there's another degree. We're going to try to take this slow. I don't want to do anything too crazy. But let's see what we get now. Andrew Sarkis? Okay, we got a canid. Oh, I think we got a snake. Oh my god, and a new... Another new... Catamorphodon is interesting. But we got another new primate. This cold area over here is supporting all kinds of life. Wow, yeah, look at how bustling it is. And also, yeah, here we go. Our first snake. Coniophis. Wonderful. Uh, another new flyer. Who's this? Catamorphodon. Awesome. And then over here, yeah, we get Andrew Sarkis, uh, our first canid. Oh, actually, is Andrew Sarkis? It's interesting that they make him look like a wolf, because Andrew Sarkis is like, almost like a pig, isn't it? Like a hippo or something? I feel like that's what I'm thinking of, like a proto-mammal of some kind. 
some kind. And then we got another primate. Oh, yeah, here he is. Dryopithecus. Wow. Yeah, we are on the way to, like, humans, basically. Which is just crazy. But, okay, let's see if we can get some more dinosaurs. That's what we want to do first. Brachiosaurus. Beautiful. Elder Butterfly. Great. Oh, Elder Butterfly's dead. Dinorthus is back. Wow. Uh, Caganius. Interesting. Ophiroids are back. Another new primate. Pachynorthus. Wow, we're getting so much new stuff. Okay, let's take another pause. This is crazy. We are going so quickly now. Um, okay, let's see what all we got. We got a Brachiosaurus. There he is. Big man himself. Buddy, Jesus Christ. You need to get on some more stable ground. <laughs> oh my God. I have fear for whatever poor, poor soul is going to be standing underneath this cliff. Look up and you just see a fucking footprint the size of your house. Wow, he is a hefty boy indeed. It seems like the ocean has also gotten a decent amount more biodiverse. Uh, it's looking pretty good in here. We still have Velopikea. Um, oh yeah, all kinds of stuff over here with the big marine reptiles. Awesome. And then we got a new, another new primate, right, over in the cold area. This place is going to be overpopulated if y'all keep spawning in the cold area, man. Um... I'm pretty sure there was another new primate. Oh, there he is. Sahelanthropus. Sahelanthropus. Very cool. Very cool. Um, I don't remember any of the other things we got, but I think that was the gist. Uh, we did get some new... We got Dinorthus back. Isn't he in the freshwater somewhere? I can't see him, but I'm pretty sure he is. I think we got another new snake somewhere. It's not these ones. Oh, there he is. Caganeus. Cool, cool. Another new snake. Okay, well, we got our first new dinosaur. Let's see if we can keep going with some more. Oh, Pachynorthus is dead. Always. They always die. Uh, Eosimas is doing great. Or Simeus. Elder Butterfly is back. Let's see if they survive this time. Seems like they are. Cool. Triceratops, ooh, okay, we got a bunch of new things. Triceratops, I think I saw Giganus Brachius, which is the water one. Yeah, awesome, I love this guy. I don't think this is a real dinosaur, to be honest. But it is. it was a theory for a while that uh, sauropods, uh, like, somewhat live in the shallows to, like, support their body weight, and they could feed on seed weed by dipping their head below the water, which I do think is an awesome theory. But I don't believe Gigano Brachio is an actual... Uh, species. I mean, unless it is, I just haven't heard of it, but Canis Diarus, that is a wolf. Oh no, it's a dire wolf. Yeah, cool beans. God, there are so many things living in this cold area now. That is crazy shit. And then we also got, what, a Triceratops? Yeah, there he is. Trike, my man. It's good to see ya. We just need a Rex. We gotta at least see a Rex in this series. And I feel like that we just have to. Svenacodon, okay, Labellium. I'm not sure what Svenacodon actually is. Might be a... Uh... Oh, I think that was a Stegosaurus. Okay, let's give another check. I'm sorry we're going down and back and forth so much, but we just have so much shit to check out. Yep, there's a Stegosaurus. A big, chunky Stegosaurus. Epic. Um, I don't know what Svenacodon was. Wait, was that the turtle? That wasn't the turtle, was it? Our first little turtle. Um, perhaps not. I know the first one is in the water. I don't know. I don't see it. I can't remember what Sphenicodon was. It's a reptile of some kind. But, okay, we're still looking great. Zoom back up. Give it some more time. We should still theoretically be able to get a T-Rex with just the conditions that we have right now. New bug. Pachynorthus is back. I'm sure it's going to die soon. Okay, okay. Pachynorthus is dead, of course. Plesiosaurus. Ooh, that's cool. I do love me a Plesiosaurus. Where is he? In the water somewhere. Yeah, there he is. Good old Nessie. Oh, she's a beaut. Oh, Platycarpus is coming right up to it. 
What, you guys got beef? No, they're just chilling, having a conversation. Cool beans. All right, keep it moving. Oh, okay, Kalunia's back. That's interesting. Triapithecus, Canis Dyrus. I guess I should probably actually check the recording, make sure it's still working this time. Okay, it seems like it is. Um, how long have we been going for? Oh, 40 minutes? Wow, I didn't even realize. Okay, yeah, I'm going to end this one here then. We have seen the dinosaurs. We have seen mammals. Um... We didn't end up getting... Oh, you know what? I really want a fucking T-Rex before we end this episode. I'm going to use... Oh, shit, I got rid of it in my inventory, didn't I? Hold on. Hold on. Hold your horses. I want a T-Rex. Give me a T-Rex. I want one. Okay, we need an Eoraptor. I believe... No, no, we need a Velociraptor. I'm pretty sure they evolve in, the... in this game, at least. From Velociraptor. They definitely didn't in real life. But ah, Tyrannosaurus, there he is. Okay. <laughs> Before he possibly extincts himself. He should be able to live, but there he is. A big old Tarex. Good to see you, pal. All right, well, next time, I think we'll keep it warm for a while and we'll see what else we can get while it's hot. And then I think it's time gonna be time for an ice age, everybody. I'll switch that cold stone out for a hot stone eventually, and we'll see if we can switch it, to switch the temperatures without having too enormous of a mass extinction, although it's pretty much guaranteed. Oh, we should remember to get birds. Before we make it cold, we should remember to get birds. But, all right, that'll be for next time, everyone. I hope you enjoyed. I've been loving playing this game. I think it's a great series so far. It's doing well, so thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, look at the links in the description and i'll see you guys next time peace out jake heads